What's up everyone? Today we're going to check out three new bikes all in the Powerfly series. The Powerfly from Trek is their electric mountain bike range, their kind of adventure to entry level mountain bikes. They now have the rail series which is really downhill friendly and really made for someone who's really pushing the bike as far as it can go, ignoring the electric side of things and just trying to get it to be a really really fast bike. Below me here, just off camera, it's not tall enough because it's a small, is the Powerfly 4. This is Trek's entry level model in their electric mountain bike range and you're coming at just below 5,000 Canadian and just around the four and a half for the US pricing. Now this is pretty good pricing for an electric bike, especially something with a Bosch system and a good size battery to it. Obviously you can get fancier and obviously you can get cheaper. China comes out with tons of cheap, really junky stuff but it's definitely an electric mountain bike. So this being the entry level one, you were getting an aluminum frame with all the Powerfly series now, they've gone away with any carbon fiber frames. And that's a change from previous years. They used to have carbon fiber models. They're now leaving all those ones to the rail style customers. With the Powerflies, all the models, you get an aluminum frame. This is the Alpha Aluminum. So it's the highest quality, lightest weight you can get. This bike here rings in just around that 50 pound mark. So it's not too heavy and it's obviously heavier than a standard mountain bike but you do get this huge battery pack here and the motor which is the main addition of weight the battery itself is around the seven pounds a bit to the motor and then obviously you get a little bit more metal here and there which really adds up to the weight when you're riding these things electric mode or not you do not notice the weight obviously if you were climbing a mountain yeah you're going to feel a bit more weight to it but in real terms, this is probably about as lightweight as some Walmart entry level full suspension mountain bikes. So that's pretty good in my mind. They come with a commuter saddle. So this is an upgraded seat that Trek offers to sell separately. They come with it stock and that is gonna be the same for all of them, which is a really nice little addition. When you spend in this much money, it's kind of silly that you would have to spend more to get something comfier. They come with ergonomics handlebar grips. So this is gonna be something again. It's just a nice addition for this style of rider where you're gonna be adventuring, going off road, doing some trails. It's something which is gonna be an addition and it's gonna be something you're gonna like and it's something you don't need to add later on because it already comes with it. If you're looking for better grip and power and performance, again, you're probably looking towards the rail series than the Powerfly. So it's the SR Suntour XCM34. It is a relatively good fork. It does have lockout on this side so you can turn that suspension off. Really the benefits of lockout on an uh, electric bike aren't as beneficial as a non-electric bike. You're gonna lose some energy efficiency, but you have an electric to back it up, so who really cares, you know? It has a 10 speed on the back, so that's the one slight downside. Again, many downsides to these bikes don't, don't matter too much. They just don't because you've got this electric backup. So yeah, you don't get that big, huge 12 speed, but you don't need it. One, with this style of bike, you might venture off onto those courses, but you're not doing it every day. You're not hunting for the most technical steep climbs ever. You're just riding your bike, and if you happen to come across it, well, now you've got the boost mode in this electric system to really get you over the edge. That is not a huge downside. It's actually got a pretty good range to it for the 10 speed and it's a nice shifting set. It is the Dior stuff. So this is a staple in Shimano setup. It is a fast shifting, really well reacting one. Compared to anything below it, it is significantly better. And honestly, anything above it, it does get better, but only once you've experienced this for a long period of time will you really feel the differences between this and something higher. Straight comparison, never experienced it before, you might not notice too much. Hydraulic disc brakes, and that is something common on any mountain bike now from Trek, starting with their Trek Marlin 5, all the way up to this, you get a nice set of brakes. They are gonna be a little more powerful than what you'd get on the Trek Marlin 5. You're gonna have a bit more weight, you want a little more control underneath those, and then a little less brake fade, so they add in larger rotors and discs to just prevent that kind of stuff. Again, you're carrying a little more weight. It's not huge, you know. Many people think the weight of the bike, the weight of the bike, but it's only 20 pounds compared to a regular Trek mountain bike. And many others can lose 20 pounds. 
tires on it um, on this one come with the XR3s depending on the size you get you get 29 or 27 and a half in the rims and the rims really don't change anything um, that's just for the size the tires are a good all-round trail bike tire so they are leaning towards a more off-road use if you are going to be doing a lot more commuting and on road there's definitely better options and if you stick around to the other videos in this series you will see that some of the higher end ones actually come with a better tire for that kind of usage overall it can add a kickstand add one bottle cage or two it's got a lot of additional features to it it's a really nice bike when you get down to the core of it it's that bosch system which really makes it a high quality e-bike so this one is a performance cx line and that's the same I don't know if you can see it that is the same as all of them uh, none of the motors change throughout this entire line and none of the batteries change throughout this entire line they are all the same 500 watt hour battery so you get this really nice range of about 50 to 100 110 kilometers per charge and that's a pretty good amount in my mind not many people electric or non go for 50 kilometer rides so even if you're in turbo the entire time unless it's a crazy hilly course you're still going to get some really good range out of it and bosch even has a really good calculator on their website which if you type in your tire size your wheels everything you can get a really good estimate of where you're going so you could plan ahead for the more difficult terrains and see where you're actually in use for the electronics are really nice and bosch makes a very simple one this comes with a little console and you're able to change the modes really easily it shows you speed your total odometer everything is just really easy to use and that's simple that's all it needs to be it doesn't need to be complicated and that's where they're going with this bike there's low maintenance to it there's not much you really need to do. You're not overthinking anything and it's gonna work really, really nicely. So I think the Trek Powerfly 4 of this year is gonna be a very popular one as it is previous years. They no longer have the Trek Powerfly 5 as they canned that a while ago. The next level up from that is the Trek Powerfly FS4. So it's pretty much the same model but with a little, little trick in the back here being a full suspension. We'll check that out in the next video. Otherwise, let's go over a little bit of the controls of this one and it'll be a bit more application throughout all of them. So as you can see here, this is kind of the overall layout of it. It does come with a bell on this side. You have the shifting off to the right and it's all Dior. So it's push or pull or even push with your thumb, whichever way you want to go it. So down and up or up and down. It's always push with your thumb, but you can push or you can pull to go up with your regular index finger too. The brakes feel nice and there is a minor amount of adjustment in a little Allen key there for reach, so it's all customizable there. So overall, there is a on button on the top here, really easy to get. Um, everything's within reach of the main controls, so that just flicks it on right there. On the lower half, you have a walk button. If you press this, and you are in any of the electric modes, it'll say walk plus at any point during the walk plus, you can press and hold and it'll actually try and move the bike forward. And it changes the pace a little bit when you are actually operating the bike and in the different modes, but otherwise it just goes at a gentle three-ish kilometer an hour pace to help you up hills if you're pushing the bike. You got simple plus and minus modes here and these just go through the four modes. So you got eco, touring, e-mountain bike and turbo. E-mountain bike is a nice little feature that goes on pretty economical and then detects how hard you're pedaling. As soon as you pedal hard, it really ramps it up automatically to a turbo-like level. And Trek can also reprogram the touring mode to a e-mountain bike light, which isn't as aggressive, but a little more economical, but will be a little more aggressive than touring. So your range will update automatically based on which mode you're on. And then from there, it will also allow you to get a good gauge of how far you can go at the current pace or hill you're at. This will update live while riding. So if you're going up a 60 kilometer hill, you know you've only got 60K left unless it drops down drastically. And Eco, this one right now, pretty full charge is 92 kilometers. So overall value for money, the Powerfly 4 has a lot of good features to it. And you keep true with the Bosch electric system, which is gonna work fantastically for you. Honestly, it's one of the smoothest ones possible. 
There is some minor customizations to it, but not a huge lot. They keep it very simple. It's not for someone who's looking to optimize their electric system the best. They're looking for something to be optimized for them and works really, really well. If you go ahead and check out the next video in this series, which is coming right up, we have the Powerfly FS4, and this is the next lineup in Trex Powerfly line with a few minor differences, but not nothing, nothing too major. Subscribe to see that one when it comes out. Otherwise, thanks for watching and good luck.